everyone, my name is Zanaga and I'm part of the data science discovery team and in this video today we are going to be doing a question on data frame filtering. So let's go ahead and get started. So here it says uh, using the Berkeley data set of all applicants who applied to UC Berkeley in 1973, create a data frame that contains all the students who were admitted into the school. So before we go ahead and get started, let's go ahead and print out our data frame to see what it looks like. Um, and just go ahead and output DF right here, which contains this uh, data set. And here we can see that it basically contains rows and um, of each you know, applicant that basically applied their year, major, gender, as well as the final admission decision. So here, we just want to include all the students who were admitted into the school, right? So we should probably be looking at the admission column and seeing whether that um, their, their decision was accepted, right? Because that means they were admitted. So here, let's see, we want to, um, we can, I mean, we can call this new data frame any variable that we want, but here, since it says admitted, I guess that will be the new name of our filter data frame that only contains accepted or admitted students. So here, we basically want to filter out the accepted students. So we want to create um, basically a conditional where our admission decision is equal to accepted. So how we do that is um, we have the entire data frame that we're filtering from and we want to you know wrap a whole pair of brackets around that and then we want to refer to our column here and then after that will be some sort of you know conditional or value that we want to make the the column equal to so over here our column should be df and then in brackets admission right because we are looking whether the admission decision is accepted and we want this admission decision equal to accepted because we only want the admitted students in our new filtered data frame so what this essentially does here is that it uh, goes through each row right it takes every row where the admission decision is equal to accepted and then stores that value in a new data frame called admitted. So if we output our <clears throat> new data frame, it should only contain all of the accepted students. And here we can see that, you know, all of our admission decisions is equal to accepted for each single row that is included here. So I think that's all we have to do. We just need to contain all of the students who are admitted into UC Berkeley. Um, I'll put that in another data frame and we can go ahead and submit this code and we got it correct, which um, you know makes sense. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.